So what exactly happened there between you and uh, Perry? Uh, you know, just uh, made a hit on him, and you know, he went down and thought it was dirty or whatever he thought it was and came at me and, and protect myself and uh, stick up for myself. I'm not going to take that, so, you know, it's, it's going to happen, so might as well get the first one out of the way. Yeah, I so say you're not really known that much for fighting. It's your first career fight. Did it kind of go the way you wanted it to? Or? Uh, yeah, it's kind of, you know, I, I missed on my kind of swing for the fences there and missed and then, uh, and then lost my balance and fell down, which is unfortunate, but, uh, you know, it happened, so, uh, you know, you learn from them, you know, each, each fight you're in, you're in, you learn, and uh, kind of go from there. Uh, big o- come from behind overtime victory here. What does it mean for the team to finally get w- a good one at home? Yeah, it's huge, uh, you know, just, just scoring and, uh, you know, getting getting on the board. Bert, Bert had a, you know, had a great game, and uh, you know, just throw pucks on the net, and, uh, you know, got, got a few bounces, and uh, it's a big win for us. Score. It's always uh, rewarding. And, uh, with the amount of guys we have out, with Cleary going out now, and, uh, we're going to have to have guys step up and uh, contribute. And I'm probably one of those guys that has to come up and do it. You talk about being one of those guys. Does a game like this maybe jumpstart from your experience, maybe? the next couple games? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. I've been in situations out there uh, uh, like that, so I'm quite comfortable out there. And Like I said, it was just uh, the two points is it may sound pretty repetitive and boring, but the two points are huge for us. We need to do, get this going, especially when you got a Friday-Saturday back-to-back game and uh, try to carry some momentum into Nashville now. Talk about the extra you know, overtime goal. It seemed like you found an impossible spot to get it past them. Yeah, it's just, I think it's just being in the league for a while and knowing goaltenders and obviously playing with Jiggy, uh, knowing that uh, he likes to hug the post, and there's not a lot of room up there, but there's enough to squeak it in. Yeah. Short side up high. Yeah, yeah. Talk about the first time goal, it hit off the skate. No, I just went off Jiggy's inside leg, uh, trying to go to Z, and you know what, the way things were going, that's one of the ways that uh, we knew that a goal could happen, so we're just trying to get it in his feet, and and try to get something like that. It's obviously a lucky bounce, but right now we don't really care how lucky it is. I mean, not only for the team, huge relief, but yourself too, personally, getting a, a couple goals like that. Um, like I uh, said earlier, it's uh, the way guys have been dropping around here and being out, it's a lot of pressure and a lot of weight to put on uh, Z and Pav every night. And I think there's enough guys in here that uh, have the capability of uh, contributing a little bit more frequently. Have you ever seen it like this? I mean, you've been in the league a very long time. Is this the most banged up you've ever seen a team? Uh, banged up top players, yeah. I've seen uh, a lot of things, but at the same time, we can't uh, dwell on those kind of stuff, and we understand that we will get them back, and we got to try and get ourselves above the uh, the line here and get ourselves a playoff spot. Thank you very much. I'm sure you've already been asked this, but what does it mean to you for to have your 100th career power play goal? Not really much, to be honest with you. It's, 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 uh, it just came at a good time, so we'll leave it at that probably. Big two-goal night from you. Or is it just, are you happy that you know you can kind of step up and provide some of the offense with you know everyone that's hurt? Yeah, I'm, yeah, for sure. And you know what, it's kind of been a little bit of hard luck. You know what, I've, I've hit a lot of posts. I've had eight or nine, and um, uh, I just knew any given day, just continue to work and continue to shoot. and and sooner or later, things will cash in. So hopefully, we can uh, uh, we can all go on a little run here. Yeah, it was it was yeah it was great. I mean, uh, it was a great pass, and Homer was working on that today in the pregame skate. And uh, uh, it's good to see you know when work pays off from practice in a game. Could you kind of talk about the two goals maybe that got past you? The first and second seemed like two very different oh, goals. Oh, the first one was a tic-tac-toe, and uh, it was a great passing play there by Anaheim, and the second one is just, uh, you know, a bad bounce and bad break, you know, on my part. You know, it's one of those ones where I need to, you know, stop and not allow it to go in the net. But, uh, yeah, in the same account, those things happen in the course of a season. It's how you, you, you respond, and uh, uh, it was just, you know, after that one went in, I just, you know, took a couple deep breaths, and I was like, all right, let's get back at it. PK came up huge once again yeah, today, and, and, and the guys are doing an excellent job, you know, of uh, uh, blocking shots. I mean, Patrick Eves made that, uh, uh, you know, stuck his hand out there and with about the, on the last uh, PK there to, you know, block Whitney's shot from the point.
No, it's Eves. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, guys are just, you know, they're sacrificing their bodies up top and uh, they're making my job, you know, a lot easier in there. And, uh, you know, when I when I'm able to see the puck, you know, for us, and, you know, I'm just trying to get it to areas where the guys can get it down the ice. How confident were you that Erickson knocked that puck away from the line before it went over in the first period there? Uh, you know, I didn't really, I didn't see anything because big George Peros was laying on it. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, he just sort of bowled over me there, and, uh, you know, I didn't even see anything. It, I didn't see anything because I was looking back at the net. I didn't see anything go in, but uh, then I looked up at the replay and saw that it wasn't even close. Was it, a, was it a quiet room after two periods, Jimmy, or was there no, talk about it? No, it wasn't. It was, there? you know, it was guys coming together in here and saying, let's go out here and let's get the job done. I mean, the, I, it's important for us, to, you know, to get points right now and the, to move up into the standings and, uh, uh, the, and to stay in the hunt. So the guys came in here and they regrouped and they said, let's go out there and let's, you know, let's get the job done here. As I was walking past Ken Hall in the, in the hallway there, he, he was mentioning about how big a game this was for, for a December game. It's a little unusual for you guys. Did it, did it feel that way, that it was, it was a really maybe a little more important for a December I, game than in the past because I, of the situation? Yeah, I think every, every game right now is huge for us and it is very important. I mean, every single night we're battling out here to get two points, and, uh, you know, we need the points right now to move up in the standings, and, uh, uh, you know, we can't afford to take nights off. So, I mean, from here on out, probably the rest of the season are going to be big games for us. You got yeah. a pretty big close up there, Peros. What do you think of his mustache? <laughs> hey, that's uh, you know, I guess that's his trademark, and it uh, works for him. I know I definitely couldn't pull it off. <laughs> Mike, it just seemed like the celebration after Todd's goal was like a big sigh of relief more than anything. Is that what you felt? Well, I, I mean, after watching the first two periods, you know, obviously we had to be better and. Uh, We've played a lot of good games this year and not found ways to win. And I thought we had a really good third period and obviously big for Burt. We need Burt to be important on this team. And I think this gives him a lot of confidence, makes him feel good. And, and I thought we had a real good, strong third period. And obviously uh, there's lots of specialty teams tonight. It was nice to finally get a power play goal. What pleased you most about the win? Winning. I mean, we need two points. All you got to do is look at the standings. And we're trying to do everything we can to hang in there. And, you know, every time someone gets injured, you gotta. It takes you a little bit to adjust. And uh, if you go through the games right after we've had injuries, we it took us a bit to win. And so this was a good one without Cleary. We we're able to find a way to get it done. And it's just a matter of adjusting and getting guys used to each other and playing. And so I thought it was a big game by Bird. I thought her back end really did a good job. How he let in a. A weaky, but bounce right back. That's what I like to see. Is uh, tough ones go in on you. That's just part of playing goal. But it's about the next save, and he just made sure nothing got past him. And I thought it was a great win for us. Billy Leno coming back in this one, playing on the second line a lot of the time. What do you think? Well, I thought he was good, and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave him with Bob for tomorrow. I thought he won some battles, and you know I think sometimes young players get confused. When I talked to Billy today, and well, why he wasn't playing, he said, "Well, because I'm not scoring." And I said, "That has nothing to do with it. It has to do with battle level and compete on pucks. And if you do all the little things, the rest of it looks after itself." Were you a little concerned when you saw the calls to get hit and then left to go out a little bit? I mean. I'd like to tell you that the injury thing we got going here is over, but with so many games in such a short time, you know, who knows what it's going to happen. We just got to find a way to keep grinding out and getting points. Mike Abdicator, uh, first NHL fight here tonight. How did you think he accounted for himself? Oh, it was fine. He's just got to do it more. <laughs> you know, Abby's a tough kid. He's just got to figure out that he's allowed to abuse people and you're allowed to go out there and play your game and once he figures out what that game is he's going to be very effective for us and i mean it's great Corey perry's a good good player and a tough kid that was a good exchange for us well so i think that's seven or eight games in a row here and we're i said to you guys the other day we we're 89.3 in the last 10 games and then again tonight and i thought Stewie knocked it out of the air one time, but I thought Eves had some incredible blocks. And the biggest difference to me is the sacrifice the guys are making and the amount of guys are getting hit by pucks, which is real important for us, and we've had better goaltending.
It's like you're going to Nashville tomorrow. They beat you the last four games that you played them. What is it? I mean, what do you need to do differently against them to stop that streak? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't put a whole lot in the streak. They beat us one time this year, and, and uh, Pecorino played really well against us. We, I thought, played real well in that game. The Nashville game tomorrow, I mean, they hit at home and watched. And so uh, at the start of the game, we got to get our legs. we got to get ourselves going tomorrow. 